Welcome back to The Crust. We're continuing on our campaign of this amazing new game in Early Access. Don't hesitate to check in the video description below if you want to see a full playlist. And in the last episode, I felt we didn't make any of progress. So today, I have a lot of ambitious things to do. And first of all, we definitely need to finalize over here our new production uh, chain that is going to do two things at once. We're going to produce silicon, but we're also going to produce smart concrete with a new recipe. This is a more efficient way than the old ways over here. This one was just using regulus, right? 10 per minute to make two. Now we're going to use actually slag and a bit of the silicon powder to make eight of the smart concrete. It will, <laughs> the small challenge is that, you know, right now we basically have zero smart concrete and we're gonna need a few to build all of those things. But I do have, uh, you know, one way to help is we're gonna delete this right away. Now you may be wondering what happens when you delete a building that does have, you know, some resources inside of it. Like here yeah, there is 164 regulates, 124 slag. Well, don't worry, this is going to be dropped on the floor and we're gonna be able to pick it up. Now you may be wondering uh, also sometimes in the past I've talked that it is actually when you have things on the floor sometimes it's not possible to bring them back to a building that is already connected you know to a belt. This is not actually purely true I'm gonna show you how to do it in a second but yeah, let's start by deleting this basically this whole thing here here it is. So you can see some resources are already on the floor but most importantly you know when we delete this one we are getting a couple of uh, resources, right? That have already been picked up. <laughs> so here it is. Now we're starting to build. Now the here we need to make sure also to put the right resource. Similarly over here, this is gonna be a slag. Okay, so this one is gonna start soon. This one is gonna be built soon. Okay, and so the key thing I want to show you, if you, if you click on this building there, or on any building for that matter, you will see the drone maintenance uh, which is configuration of internal warehouse maintenance by robot. Now, I don't know why it's called like this, to be honest, because when you click on it, what you're going to see is the storage manager, which says right now, it says basically, for example, that everything is off. The input is off and the output is off. Think about captain of industry. This is something very useful. Well, we can do the same here. And in particular, I think what is very good is we can put it on so that we can bring any of these that is on the floor over here you know over here you can see there's quite a bit on the floor we can bring it up um, that's what they're doing now they're bringing it up directly there so that will help also to fill this whole thing here we can do the same on this one here right because there is quite a bit in that one so if we wanted we could you know uh, use that now the thing that i don't think we can do yet though is to say empty this to empty it we basically have to delete it but yeah this is a start this is that we can also make sure that they prioritize to clean this whole thing here all right we can leave that one for now it's fine but yeah we're building this whole thing over here that's good now the only other thing i want did want you to do right away is build a bit more of storage of electricity uh, not storage, sorry uh, actual electricity production so three more of these medium solar panels and by the way another thing to show you right away is if you look at the batteries there is you know the storage let's say of the battery but there's also something interesting which is a max output each of these battery is going to give me 10 uh, output so if you see i have five by five right so my max output is actually 250 which is relevant because right now right my balance um is 200 is 354 or so differently to right now i am consuming 224 at this moment right at this moment i'm consuming 224 so actually it should be fine if my production stays the same because my max output is 250 which is higher than my max consumption right but you can see my max consumption is almost there 244 48 sorry 248 so as soon as we build a couple more of these building uh well there's not that many more but as soon as we build more buildings that will create a problem we will need basically more batteries 
to make sure during the night everything can work. This is why sometimes you see, you know, your batteries could still have a lot in charge. You know, they could, let's say, be 50% charge, but it tells you that there's not enough electricity for all of your buildings to work. This is because of the output of the batteries. Another small thing to correct is I forgot here to put the actual rare earth output. Okay, good. So yeah, that's uh, the first few things. Now, while this is continuing over here to get built, let's also go on the... No, let's uh, first do... Sorry, wrong one here. We have uh, some cargo to unload. And in particular, also, we have two robots that are back. So I want to make sure that we do that so that we get those robots back. And this way, we will also be able to use this rover to go somewhere else, right? While this is happening, let's maybe also send here. There is a distress call. So let's send our rover to investigate, right? And as I said, we're going to want to send a rover, not a rover, a um, cargo truck, you know, as soon as possible over here. Because that's some good resource, in particular, the micro circuits. We don't have a lot. We only have three right now. Wow. Okay. We did use a lot. So. Has he finished unlogging? Uh, un unlogging? Unloading? <laughs> no, he hasn't. So let's give him a minute to do that. Uh, these ones, I think, yeah, we're waiting for the smart concrete. Maybe I should prioritize them before anything else, though. Okay, so delivering done. Good. So let's send. This cargo truck over here, expedition, I mean, basically fill it all, right? Bring it back home. Okay, so that is some good start to the episode. I hope you agree. <laughs> we have now one thing that could be good. I mean, this one at least is starting, so that's great. That's going to give us, you know, some... Uh, concrete to try to finish all of this in particular finish also the electricity i guess we could do a temporary thing of connecting the electricity but no because the poles haven't been built anyway so now we don't really have anything we can do yet um hmm, okay then we're gonna want to do definitely the we ice a faint emergency oh. signal coming from a point not far from us I'm James Suliva, station employee. Three of us have food and water. B4 and 5 are depressurized. Need repair. We need help. Okay. Well, to be honest, I don't actually want to go there because I am not able to, you know, if we go there and we find those two people or three people, we're not able to make them leave in our um, habitat yet. Right? So... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna wait a bit before we go there. But it's good to know, you know, that they exist, they're over there. Okay. We so we have found this, but let's go to another one. Over here. Set an expedition. Scout. Let's go. Okay. Going back to the city, we have I think uh, nothing being mined right now. So let's go mine a bit more. Yeah, this whole piece here. Okay, that's good. And on this side. Yeah, that could be the next part too. Because there is definitely quite a bit of resource. So I think we're going to reorganize this zone also in the future. Okay. But we only have two right now, right? Yeah. I don't think we need more. We have finished one research, the colonist hiring market. Again, I'm not really ready for that. So let's um, not focus on this. Uh, we're gonna take this one out for now. I think I'd love to finish the multi regulus refinery. That could help us make some great progress. Uh, even more important, I think, than the single regulus. Probably even more important than the conveyor mark too, to be honest. So let's do go like this. We do want the oxygen soon. I also want the underground conveyor because we're getting into, um, you know, more and more trouble. Like there's gonna be problems soon. Uh, we're already wasting some of these points. So what requires a lot? Yeah, let's go for this one. 
Okay, so not enough power. Do you know this is... Uh, no, this is strange. Because... No. It should be... No, I think this is different. This is just because it's not connected to the grid. That's fine. That is fine. Can we, somebody pick this one up? Okay. Yeah, they're gathering all of these resources. That's fine. We still don't have any... Oops. All right. That is not what I wanted to do. Uh, no, we still don't have any reserves. It's a good thing that now they're sending some over here. So we can finally build all of these poles. This one is being built. Let's go to that one quickly. And, and yeah, this one is the last. They have built this for the next day, so that will be great. Okay, so almost there. Let's make sure again. This is prioritized. Even if the reality is there's nothing else to be built right now, it should be fine. Just want to make sure they go there quickly. Okay, we have finished oxygen. That will be useful again in the future. For now, we need to focus on basic production. So the next thing we could be doing is actually delete this one. All right, because we don't really, you know, this is not going to be useful. The, my only worry is this is 3000. This is going to take a lot of people going back and forth. What we should definitely do, though, is making sure that this is off. All right. Um, and then this is on that's fine All right we can try to empty these ones yeah, on okay oops sorry wrong button um okay and this one should be on too no this one sorry yes it's on for this uh, slag so hopefully they start delivering quite a bit of slag because look at this the problem is I'm empty on Slack, which is why I'm considering deleting this one. But hopefully, now that I've put this one as off, like they can't deliver here anymore, they will hopefully always go to that one. Okay, last one. Come on. So it should start. Yes, it is starting now. Perfect. But we do still have... The problem I was mentioning before, which is that now my max consumption is 288 and my uh, batteries are only able to do 250. So this is why some buildings may actually go off like over here. You can see, for example. OK, good. So let's make sure that they focus on these ones first. Even if where am I? Oh, I guess in the future I will deliver it over here. All right, let's put that. OK. Another, ah, the multi regolith refinery. That is great. That is great. So they haven't told us to use it yet, but I think we're going to use it over here. Because look at this. We have multiple deposit. So we could build a multi regolith. Uh, let me show you uh, over here. So with this, right, we can put all types into one building and then separate them. It does cost, you know, five CPU and quite a bit of resources. So maybe we're going to wait a second, in particular, 22 smart concrete. But yeah, I can see now, you know, that this, I think, will start working. I'm going to keep this one working for now, uh, in particular, because there's also a lot here to clean. But yeah, I think we can start moving to the next mission. Oh, we have also this, sorry. So what is happening here? Why? What's the problem? What's the problem? I think back to base. Maybe I didn't click on the back to base, but OK, it's fine. So it's coming back. Now let's focus on the ice. Right? We're going to want some electricity. So let's go up. Um, ah, can't put it so close. It's fine. So now we have some electricity for the ice. So we're going to build some regulars and some ice. 
So now let's move to building the ice melter. You can find it over here, right? Where it's gonna take some of this ice and transform it into water. It must be installed on the external wall. So basically over here, right? It needs to be over there. Now the problem is obviously this is quite far. And what we're gonna do is just have a storage, right, of ice. It's gonna cost quite a bit of resources, but most of the basic ones, so that's fine. Then, as I said, let's make sure that we have a storage. It's gonna be the bulk one. It's gonna go over here, and it's gonna take the ice, right? Then we can have a storage of ice also over here. In the future, we can have also uh, a belt to go there. Okay. So this is being built. Again, it's gonna take a second, in particular, smart concrete. I mean, we do have quite a bit, but yeah, it's just taking a minute to get built. And then we can have our conveyor, All right? Start here Objective and deliver. Director, our operation requires a colossal amount of funds. The budget is stretched to its limits. And, and there are no new investments in sight. We need to come up with something urgently. What do you mean? I have tons of money. <laughs> I have tons of money. Now that we have ice mining, we need to learn about oxygen facilities to create life. Complete the appropriate research. I have a solution to our problems, Director. We can establish trade with other organizations on the moon. This way, surplus resources are converted into money, which we currently lack. To send resources, we need a landing platform. And to access the market, we need to research the online market. I have all of this <laughs> to ensure the colonists feel safe. Ah, uh, indoors, one electrolysis plant is not enough. It produces oxygen, but we need a back plan. Call me a pessimist, but I've heard enough stories about sudden water and power outages leading to days of entire base crew, of course. Construct a compressed air tank, oxygen receiver, so that we can have a reserve for a rainy this day. This is why you get paid the big bucks, Ledger. Great idea. Director, <laughs> let's get started immediately. Research and construction will take some time. It is true. Everything is ready for trading. To sell your surplus resources, go to the online market section of the control center. So over here. Now select market at the top of the screen. All right, we have the market. Not only sell missing resources, but also buy them. Yeah. Since we are currently trying to restore our budget, go to the sell tab. <laughs> well, to be honest, if you select I... an available resource <laughs> on the left side of the screen. You'll see the fluctuations and its cost on the right side. To send a resource for sale, select the appropriate option in the bottom right corner of the screen. So, for example, we have tons of silicon. Right? So we could sell a bit of silicon. Let's say, let's sell yeah, 200. Uh, this is 1,000 ton, so it's fine. And it's going to make us a profit of 12,000. I do have 300,000 right now, so it's not like I need this money, but, you know. Director. You should carefully monitor supply and demand. The more resources of a specific type you put on the market, the lower their price will be. Yeah, but that's also why I have chosen the silicon because look at this. The silicon price has been increasing nicely. I think we sell it and then, you know, it may definitely decrease then, but that's okay. That's okay. So definitely it is important and in particular it could help us soon if we have another problem like we had with the smart concrete, right? We could buy some. Now we are wasting some uh, points and it's actually the green ones. Okay, so anything on the green? No, wait, what is the mission now? I don't have any research that needed because I think we've done them all. Okay, so we can continue to do whatever we want. Um, Extend trading license. Yeah, that could be good. That could be good. Oh, some of these. We're going to need some of these also soon. So let's go for it. Okay. Where did I sit? No, good. Saving progress. We are very low on battery, right? So we're going to continue. Here is my, uh, you know, the selling. It's fine. They're going to deliver all of the silicon but as i said i think a key element to, right now would be to make sure we have both a higher production of energy but oops, but also a few more batteries because we reach uh, the maximum output remember so let's go control c 
can go crazy. I know it's not the most interesting thing to do, but it is important to have good foundations before you expand too far. Okay, and similarly over here. Good. Okay. Research complete again. Conveyor mark to yes, fine. I don't really need this. Okay. So at least this is going to start increasing, but not that much, right? You can see my production is only 318 and I'm consuming almost that. So again, this is why we need this. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. Let's accelerate the time. Um, a lot of my, I mean, my people are focused on this right now, which is not so great. But uh, yeah, that is life. Not much I can do right now. <laughs> Oops. Uh, sometimes... I definitely pressed the wrong button. Sorry about that. There's a couple of these resources on the ground. Nothing extraordinary, but okay. Now, what else? Over here, oh, there's a problem. We are, I think it's, we are low on slag. There is a research facility at the crater. At the main entrance are numerous cargo containers. Okay. Drones are buzzing around and there are active conversations on the radio. Oh. Hola, director. I represent Graca AC, a company specializing in advanced agriculture. Don't be surprised by the activity. We and our partners are engaged in an active dispute over the right for this facility. This research center was a joint project. Okay. After the, the disaster, some of the staff were evacuated and our esteemed partners decided to take advantage. That's so. I represent the interests of the ACIL enterprise. Do not listen to the accusations from our former partners. They were engaged in the development of a new type of plants, but we provided all the infrastructure and equipment. According to the contract, in case of an emergency, the rights to the facility and all developments should pass to us. But these farmers do not want to fulfill their obligations. On the contrary, they demand we transfer the facility and all developments to them. This is simply outrageous. Hmm, interesting. So what are we gonna do? Director, in this situation, we can use the emergency powers Crust <laughs> gave us to put pressure on the corporations. We can give the samples and with the equipment to one side of the conflict or the other, take it all back, or send a botanical specialist to reopen the facility to benefit our mission. This is interesting, but I don't have a specialist botanist, right? So I think we're going to pick it up for ourselves. I'm sure we're going to lose some you know, reputation, but it is too good to pass up. Such an act would displease both corporations. And then I'd have to deal with lawsuits again. Yeah, that's your job. So <laughs> that's still your job. Yeah, so we can pick up the resources, send drones and cargo transport to the research center. Okay, good. So the drone has arrived over here. We can send it to... I I'm going to actually stop a bit on the explorations because who knows what we're going to find. Now, this guy, what is he doing? Yeah, I told you to come back to the base. Why are you still not at the base? Anyway, um, so this is indeed quite low on slack. That's the problem. I feel like basically... And let me see over here. Is there a lot of slag? There's not that much slag. Okay. And there, they have finished to deliver this, so we got some more money. They are going to build this, even if the night is coming fast. So let's focus on this first. Why are they taking so long? It's really the smart concrete. They don't want to deliver smart concrete somehow. I do have 40. Where is this smart concrete now? Is there a problem that they can't get here? No, it's on. Okay, so it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's on. Okay, I'm not sure. But anyway, we got some new reserve again there. So let's get them. 
Okay, first one's being built, good. And the reason I'm saying this is because now I want to go back and get those new resources, right? There is, ooh, actually some quite a uh, nice one that we haven't, uh, you know, started. So that is definitely going to help in the future. Good, good, good. And then I think I'm going to delete this one to get 3000 of slag and be able, you know, to do tons of smart concrete. I think that would be helpful. How are we doing over here? Yeah, there is quite a bit of reserve too. And here... Right, from time to time they're getting the water ice, delivering it here, and we're starting to consume it to make some water. Good. Anyway, this is an infinite resource, right? Uh, that's not a problem to start using it. We do want to move to the oxygen very soon, but again, I'd love to be able to first fix this over here. So, how are we doing? We have connected all of this. They are slowly but surely charging some of these, so that's good. Uh, we are delivering all of the resources. Let's give it a second. Oh, they are delivered? No, they are delivered. Okay, good. So, let's send it there. Uh, uh, expedition settings, yeah, did it all, good. So it's going, perfect. And yeah, as I was saying, now I think the next mission is let's delete this. So that's going to, you know, create a lot of resources on the ground, which I'm gonna tell them to get, <laughs> instead of transporting this ice. Yeah, I should have really built <laughs> over there, but anyway, that's that's life. So they're starting to take all of these resources, right? You can see they're delivering all of the slag over here. And so that should help to make some smart concrete. So what we can do is now delete this one. I think we're, we're definitely gonna have enough over here for a while. So let's delete all of this. Good. You may want to also delete later on some of these. That's fine. Okay, that one. I'm going to say you can't give any. And so with time, this should get empty and we can start you know, putting it somewhere else. Can you also clean this? And let's do the oxygen, right? So build a plant that will extract oxygen from the water and build a compressed oxygen storage tank. So again, we're gonna go over here into the life support. We have the electrolysis plant, right? And the oxygen receiver, we actually need to get after. So let's put it uh, right here. It needs to be definitely, you know, inside, right? Uh, do we even have enough resources? Yes, we have two of those electro, but we still haven't started to make micro circuits. So I may want to actually slow down on this part of the research and move a bit more onto, you know, the actual. Oh, great that we got this one. So maybe let's actually use it right away because of this there, right? We have this problem over here, conveyor, underground conveyor. So we're going to do this right we're gonna place a conveyor on this side and then we're gonna put one on that side so that it's linked so yeah she they are not happy that we store the resources but anyway the important thing i wanted to show you is you can put so a conveyor like this and then you're gonna put a second a line it needs to be a line if you put it the other you know not a line it doesn't work and also there is a limit on the you know length we will be able to change that in the future but for now you know that's our limit so obviously i can't put you know, just one here and then one at the end over there. But what we can do is put a belt that goes from here to there. Then we're gonna have a belt that goes like this, right? All the way here. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So let's uh, now delete this one. It's not useful. Let's do this. Oops, sorry. Uh, up. Let's go straight up to here. 
And yeah, if you are wondering, you know, it does seem that this is elevated. All of the belts are elevated. This is how my drones are always able to move around. And it makes sense. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go straight. Continue straight as possible. Up until here. And then here we can... It's slightly unstraight. <laughs> okay, so with this, right, as always, they're gonna start traveling uh, all of the ice. Water ice, the slag needs to be picked up, but that's fine. And so this way it can be automated. Uh, why they haven't started building this one? I don't know. And let's build, you know, the oxygen receiver into. No, it's not over there, sorry. Over here. Oxygen. Oh, yeah. I forgot the water tank also. My bad. My bad. So it is a few minutes later because a lot of my um, drones, you know, were busy taking all of this slag. We started with more than 3,000 nights on to 2,000 into this uh, storage there. But yes, they have built the two buildings. The electrolysis plant, right? So with this, we're creating some oxygen and we also have an oxygen receiver here right to basically um, charge it it's a bit like a battery right we're charging it and we can then use it when we're low so it is a good start keep in mind that additional room in the facility will be uninhabitable until we connect them to a source right so we either need to put a ventilator in each uh, room or you need to put that in each room <laughs> But yeah, I think Director, this... we now oh. have living quarters. It's time to make them habitable. Build beds, a farm, and a kitchen. The new residents will need them. Indeed, indeed. But I am happy with this progress. We have definitely enough picks. Our, you know, production of smart concrete. You can see we have 200 of reserves. And this is far from over because we still have 2,000 in reserve there. We have started, you know, to automate the drilling of ice to transform into water, to transform into oxygen. We have used a first um, elevator or, you know, I don't know, what's it called already? Sorry, I forgot. Um, underground conveyor, sorry. So we have built the first one and I'm actually researching the second one that will increase, you know, the connection by four cell in terms of length. There's quite a few other research that we have already done. I'm happy that we've also gotten the multi regolith refinery. I think probably in the next episode, we're going to start doing this. Uh, we still haven't automated. No, we did. We have the plate here and we have, you know, the uh, rare earth element there. But yeah, we haven't started making micro circuits. So we should definitely do that one soon. And then, yeah, they're going to want us to do some beds, farms, and kitchen. But again, I think that we'll have to wait for the next episode. I hope you're still enjoying this one. Thank you for watching. Smash like button. And I hope to see you next time.